Hi guys, in this video I wanted to answer a question that I do get asked quite frequently and that is why do I collect these lamps? Well if I want to keep this video just a few seconds long I could just say why does anyone collect die cast cars or stamps or anything else that's you know collectible audio equipment you know, there's people out there that collect stereos and hi-fis and tape decks and anything else related to audio. Um, audio cassettes, LPs, CD, you know. But, um, for me, collecting these, it's something I've always had an interest in ever since I was little. All sorts of roadworks equipment, but mostly lamps. Um... It's not a very common interest. Uh, I mean, I've been collecting officially for nearly eight years. Um, and I've met five other collectors. One through YouTube, two through eBay, and one through... A friend of mine on Facebook who I met on YouTube and another guy on Facebook um, but there's just to me it's just interesting there's so many different designs not just here in the UK I mean I've only got a few select from my own collection here I've got the Dorman traffic lamp E right behind me I've got the traffic lamp here from the 70s Still Dawn mono lamp and three different um, Dorman uni lamps. Um, and they're also made for different services, you know. There's the blue one for the emergency services, such as the police and the fire. The amb ambulance service don't really use them, it is police and fire, just to mark incidents and road closures and whatnot. Uh, the red ones. Uh, primarily for airports to mark hazards on the airports and uh, railways the railways here commonly use red warning lamps um, there's, so, there's some designs that I don't like as much like personally this is not that one this one the mono lamp is not one of my favorites but you know, ooh, nearly dropped it because it's top heavy. <laughs> but uh, it's still a nice looking lamp. It's just not one of my favourites. You know, and this one's got multi functions on it. It's got your standard on off, and then it's got a switch which will uh, select either flash mode or steady bud. So it's like an all in one. Which is actually handy because then that means they haven't got to manufacture two different lights for two different customers. Uh, because I know some customers will want steady burn and some would want flash, but with this one, you can. Um, it's all in one, so they've just got to make the one lamp. Um, and that is, this is actually quite old. Tildorn no longer exists. Um, so that one's quite old. I remember seeing these around sort of like the late 1990s, early 2000s. Um, and there's a few modern designs that still incorporate the selection there. In fact, I've got a couple. But uh, I've even got some from America. There's literally hundreds of designs and part of the fun I think of collecting anything whatever you collect is actually the hunt you know because sometimes I'll get get it into my head that I want to go after a specific lamp and the fun to me is searching and I've actually found eBay is a good source you can get well, lamps like this are extremely hard to get. 
because you know they're made for the emergency services so I've always wondered how private people like myself end up with these. I mean I bought this one up no, this one was given to me, sorry. So was that one. But uh, I've heard where some collectors have contacted like Dorman, the manufacturer, directly. And they've been sent such lamps, which is great. That's probably how a lot of these will end up in the public domain, so to speak. Or I know sometimes the police departments will um, auction off you know, their old equipment, such as things like this, so you could go there and buy them. But, uh, as for these amber ones, you can buy them at any retailer that will stock them. Any um, plant equipment retailer will stock them. Um, I mean, there's retailers out there that run websites that sell all sorts of traffic management equipment and uh, I mean it's easy for people to say it's all stolen but there's so many eBay is such a wide marketplace there's so many businesses out there that probably bought like I don't know a half a dozen of these for a couple of jobs no longer use them so throw them on eBay which is where I get most of my lamps are from. Um, I'm given a few like these two. Well, actually, I traded this one. That was a trade. And that was given to me. I just had to pay the postage. Um, but the rest. No, I think that one was given to me as well from an eBay, if I remember correctly. These ones bought on eBay. No, because they're amber, they're pretty much common as muck, so to speak. Apart from this one, oh, preferably with its bottom. This one's from the 1970s. It's the first traffic lamp um, that Dorman Smith produced back when they were Dorman Smith. Uh, I don't know if this one's got it on there. Yeah. Americans may find this looks familiar because it's based on a Deet 650, if memory serves correctly. Someone did reply to a comment in one of my lamp videos that uh, clarified that for me. Um, and I'm pretty certain they said it was a Deet 650. But uh, they called it the Traffy Lamp here. Because Dorman made it under license. It actually says it on here as a sticker. Made under license. I think I might stick the bolt back in this one. I'm not sure why that keeps falling off. Oh. Ooh, I think the casing's a little bit bent out of shape. I wouldn't mind trying to get some more of these, but when they pop up on eBay, because they're now so old and getting so rare, they're starting to hold their money. So, I had three of these. One was sent to me free which was in far better condition than this um, but it didn't have its reflective sticker or anything and that's the one I traded for this one I thought as I had three and I'm happy with these sort of tatty looking ones I'd trade my good one for a blue one because these are extremely hard to get they come up on eBay every so often but uh, it is pretty rare. But uh, yeah, I just I just find them interesting. Uh, you can get green ones. I'm pretty certain Dorman don't do these in green. Um, and there are some types which are rarer than others, which again adds to the fun of um, tracking down the lamps you want. And if you really wanted to, and you had the cash for the postage, you can go on like e the American eBay, the French eBay, the Australian eBay, whatever eBay site you want, and find lamps from abroad and have them shipped to you. But the postage will sting you. It's expensive. 
probably because of the size and you know something like this, even that on its own is a, a fair bit of weight to it. And that's even worse if you've got a metal one like that. And then of course with lamps like this you've got different variations. They look the same on the outside like this, but you might get some that are flash. Uh, a steady burn version, some will be flashing with a photo cell, steady burn with a photo cell, without a photo cell. There's just so many variations of some of these lamps. But yeah, this one's a metal one. Which I've got four of, three in good condition and one tatty old one. <laughs> um, I find, if I can, it's nice to have some, you know, in their original used tatty condition to show that, you know, they've had a life on the roads and been used. And it's also nice to have some that are uh, near enough brand new mint condition like this one. There's a dent right there, I've just noticed. Probably from storage. I don't think there's much else I can say, but as I've said, you know, the reason I collect them is because they are interesting. It's not a common thing to collect. And, uh, yeah, they're interesting to me. You know, if you want the short answer, like I said, just why does anyone collect anything? You know, there's people that collect badges, there's people that collect cuddly toys, there's people that collect toy cars, model cars, people that collect Lego. Well, you know I do that as well. Um, and like anything, it costs. I dread to think what this flat would look like if my income was better. I really do. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave the video at that. If you have any questions that you want to ask me about these lamps, feel free. But the other thing I will say is I have not personally stolen any of these. So if any of my lamps are stolen, which none of us can really prove, it wasn't me. <laughs> It's unlikely, um, especially the ones that are in brand spanking new condition. Um, but yeah, anyway, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them. And uh, Thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.